Did you know that you can thank your users for filling out your forms with a custom thank you page? Well, you can, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back, I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of the features landing page for creating custom thank you pages. Now, there are a lot of different ways and reasons on why you would want to customize your page. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna cover everything on this page, but if you have additional questions, make sure you just leave us a comment down below in the bottom or come back to this features landing page. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my form building dashboard. And let's go ahead and create a brand new form from scratch. So top left-hand corner, we're gonna create form. I'm gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And let's go ahead and bring in some of the most popular form elements over on the left-hand side. We'll just do a full name, email, and let's do phone number. Now, in order to change your thank you page, I'm gonna head up to the top middle orange settings button. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose the thank you page. And right here is where we can really edit what this thank you page looks like. Now, this thank you page is going to be the one that everyone receives. And as of right now, you can see right here, it's chosen to show a thank you page after every submission. So from here, if you're good with this, you're good to go. But I know you, you want to customize this to fit you and your brand. Now, we can literally get rid of everything within this if we want to. We can also add some action buttons. So right up here, we have the blue action button. So let's say maybe we want them to have the opportunity to fill it again or fill out another form. Maybe you have some forms that are tied to each other or similar to each other. So you know if they fill out this form, they're probably gonna wanna fill out this form too. We can do that. We can allow them to edit their submission or we can allow them to download their PDF. So let's go ahead and say, I, I think they might also want to fill out this other form. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to, you might like this form too. And we're gonna do animal shelter donations. We can come down here and we can choose which forms we'd like to use. Perfect, and we can see we can add more than one form. So maybe we want to add clothes for sale. Who knows, whatever you would like to add in, we can do that. And we can also set pre-fill, which is gonna make their form filling experience even better because we're gonna pull the data from the form that they just filled out and put it into the new one. So we can do that like this. See, it's gonna take the form that they just filled out and pre-populate those fields, perfect. Awesome, let's go ahead and save that. We can set it for this other one too, perfect. We'll go ahead and create. And so right down here, look, you might also like this form too animal shelter and clothes for sale. Now we can also make this more personalized and we can add fields. So if I choose to add field, I can choose to add their name. So your submission has been received, John Smith. Easy peasy. Or we could even put it up here in this main part. Thank you, John Smith. Your form has been received. Perfect. Now, this is just one way. Maybe after they submit the form, you can add something right above your submit button that says, hey, once you click submit, you will be redirected to X, Y, and Z. Maybe it is a Facebook group where you're building community, or maybe it's a specific landing page on your website. We can do that right here, redirect to an external link after submission. So let's go ahead and we'll do jotform.com for this. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and do a quick preview form. We'll see what this looks like with the redirect. And you can see that we're taken to jotform.com. So let's go ahead and head back. I'm gonna jump out of the preview form. Let's go ahead and show that thank you page that we edited. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what that looks like. We'll do a quick fill form and submit. And now thank you, John Smith. Your submission has been received. You know what, you might want to fill out these. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Perfect, and look, it automatically pre-filled for us. All right, let's go ahead and X out of this, and we'll jump out of preview. Now, another thing that we can do is we can place with some conditional logic as well. So over on the left-hand side, we can do conditions, and we can change the thank you page based on how they respond to a specific question. So let's say, just for the sake of this example, let's say that they fill out their phone number. We can redirect to a custom URL, 
or we can show a custom message and you can use this lots of different ways. So maybe you are asking for what type of sandwiches or what type of restaurant would you like to choose from for our group luncheon. And if they choose a specific restaurant, you can redirect to that restaurant's menu so they can choose what they want. But let's say that you prefer card format over the classic format. Up in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna choose the form designer. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the card format. And if I scroll down to the bottom, right down here it says edit thank you page. I can edit the thank you page right here from within the builder and we get that same information. We can show the thank you page after a submission or we can redirect to an external URL. But it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to edit or change or customize your thank you page, let us know down below in the comments. And don't forget to check out that features landing page as well. Now, if you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.